farmer and I use double pointed needles a lot in the projects that I use. And I had these from Dreams and they came five to a package. And one day I discovered that I was one short and that was not a good thing. And besides, I needed some that were longer. So I went to the big city and went to the big box store and they had these, but they had knobs on the end. Now, as you can see from this one, this one is nine inches long. This was eight inches long. And then I had one that was seven inches long and one that's six inches long. And these that were eight inches long were the ones the longest ones I could get, which is why I needed so many of these. But anyway, I wanted longer ones. So I bought some of these, and these are also dreams, and they come from the big box store. And uh, so I figured out how to use them. And the first thing that I did was get my handy dandy little coping saw and I cut off the knob and it doesn't take long to do that. I said that, <laughs> but these are pressed birch and they are my favorite kind of knitting needles. I have double points. I have all kinds of knitting needles made out of this. And as you can see over here, I have metal ones and I have bamboo ones and I have some of these. And I cut them off and get to the end and just it just snaps off like that. Right and nice. you can drill it and make a bead out of it if you like to do that. Cool idea. So to make it pointed, I got my handy dandy little electric oh. pencil sharpener. Oh, 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 come on back here. <laughs> and it does that sometimes. But you can use a handheld. Okay. Oh, come on here. I have one that's a size 10 and a half. And it was actually easier to make because it fit in there beautifully. This one is a little more difficult. You have to have a good grip and it's obvious that I don't. <laughs> okay, you get it down to almost a complete point. And the point of, of all of this, no pun intended, mm -hmm. is to use things that you already have. I already had a coping saw. I already had the electric pencil sharpener. And I have an emery board. Oh. So what I started to do was to make sure that this was nice and smooth. And depending on your uh, pencil sharpener, it can be smooth or it can be rough, and you need to smooth it all down. And so I did that and smoothed it down like this. And this one has a rougher side here and a smoother side over here. Uh, this one is, uh, I can't remember if the higher number is the finer grit. But anyway, this is a 400-600, and this one is the rougher grit, and this one is the finer grit. Whichever way it goes, because I can't remember. But anyway, there it is. And you just smooth it off. And this one is nice and smooth. It's not perfect, but then if you look at all of those up close and personal, they are none of them. Perfect. Then you take 
your clear nail polish, oh. which I also had at home anyway. A thousand good uses for that. Absolutely. And you put it down where you won't get any on anything, oh. and you just, well, that's the wrong one. No, that's the right one. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, you put it in, and then you take it out, you wipe most of it off on the side of the bottle, and you hold it for a while. Now, if you get tired of holding it, and you have a clothespin or a little clamp, what you do is you clamp this on and I had this shelf which was just sitting around and I slid it on. The reason it was sitting around is because my uh, kitchen shelves are too big, too thick for me to use this shelf. <laughs> Well, Matt, thanks so much for appearing on Knit Chat today and, and showing us your custom needles. Well, I hope everybody who needs a longer double-pointed needle will be able to use this. Amazing. All right, that's it for Knit Chat. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.